despise vegan food. I care about myself more than I care about them. Do you think you're a bad person? Yeah, I think so what pills do you need? I just can't swallow it, so I have to eat meat. You can swallow a chicken's dead body, but you can't swallow a little tablet. I don't care. Not going to affect me. Things look different when you have a gun to your head. And it's the oppressor's decision to kill you. Do you agree? Do animals deserve human rights? I agree with you. You agree? Mm. What about cows? Do they deserve human rights? More than anything. Well, you can't eat them once they have rights. You know that, right? No, you don't eat them? Are you a vegan? Of course. If they don't have rights, they don't have true protection. It's just like human beings. If we don't have rights, nothing's stopping me from enslaving and killing you. And the same with animals. Are you saying it just for now or in the entire course of history? What am I saying? That they deserve human rights? That they always deserved human rights or just now? They deserve, they've always have. So you think they always... Uh... So like we, have we always have? Yeah, but what about survival of the fittest? Yeah, does that justify killing other humans? Because I'm a lot fitter and stronger than a lot of people and children and, and, and a lot of women and a lot of small men. But like it happens. Can I use that as a justification to violate humans? No. Survival of, okay. No, no. And why not animals? We don't have to eat them. Like, you could be food to a lion too. I know. Do you want to live? But what about animals that do eat humans? You deserve to defend yourself from that animal and kill them to defend your, your life. That's yeah, but you don't deserve to be food. No, yeah. no, I agree with you. Yeah, but what I'm saying is you said the animals are food so we can violate their rights. No, that's not what I'm saying. You're okay. What I said, now maybe it's a bit like every Now we could be. Yeah, I understand that. But I'm talking about like a thousand years ago. Yeah. When people Luckily, we're not there anymore. Yeah, I know. That's why I asked. Yeah, like, but... They always deserve human, uh, human rights, or is it just now? Yeah, they always have deserved them because they're sentient. Like, we have always deserved them. But there's been horrible things that have happened throughout history. And if we had human rights earlier, a lot of things could have been avoided. But I'm also saying, if animals had human rights, like, let's say, a thousand years ago, a lot of humans would have died themselves, so why are the animals more important than the humans? No one's saying animals are more important than humans. No. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, saying they always deserve the human rights. Yeah. Then a lot of people would have starved if they hadn't eaten them. A lot of civilizations are based off of rape and murder. Not all of them, though. But no, but the fundamental cornerstones of, of, of the world were based off of slavery. Like we built civilizations from, you know, invading and enslaving and killing and raping. Like a lot of civilizations happen because of killing, pillaging. I still think those humans deserved rights, you know, yeah, at that point. They deserved yeah. rights, but yeah. that's not what I'm saying. What, I'm saying, what about the people that, that died if they didn't? Yeah, but what about you now? So you now you agree with me you should be vegan, right? Yeah. We're not debating in a time machine. We're not going to go back in history, are we? Yeah. yeah. I, I said I agree with you right yeah. now. So you, you agree that you, humans have always deserved rights? Okay, well what about humans that ate other humans in survival situations? Happened a lot. It's happened throughout history. It happens on islands where there's cannibal tribes. It's happened in, in times of starvation. People have eaten other people. So they're food and they needed to, to survive. But humans still deserved rights in those situations. Yeah, they deserve rights. Maybe they, they should have deserved rights, but like the... Okay, so now... I'll take the human side over there. They yeah. should be the same, but like back then... Why you know, I'm saying animals are more important. I'm saying they're, they're just more important than to be killed for a burger. I agree with you, but you're safe and pregnant. Everyone should be vegan. Uh, why aren't you? I'm, I'm aware of almost every dish is served with meat. Yeah. Uh, so, same with me Italian and Australian, yeah. Scottish, which you name the tradition, you name the culture, they all eat meat. Yeah, I know, but. Does tradition or culture. I could have, I could have. No, but I mean now, can you now? I don't think I can. You don't think it's possible? Sure it is, okay. but like it's just, it's so, it's very tasty. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, a being tastes good, does that justify killing them? Not exactly, what can I do? You can, yeah, you I can be can. vegan, like you know that you can, everyone should be. You believe animals should have rights now because we're not in a survival situation. She's supposed to be vegan. I try, but I can't because, uh, because of health. Why not? I can't so, take pills. What, what do you mean? I can't take pills. So, so what pills do you need? Health. I just don't have it, so I have to eat meat. You're not allowed to take pills. I can. Why not? Pills are natural. In farms, animals are fed B12 supplements. So you're already having a supplement. Yeah, but taking the pill, I just can't swallow it. Okay, but you, you can get liquid B12. It costs a lot of money. No, it doesn't. No, it's cheap. In my country, it is. No, it's not. It's cheap. No, it's like $100. Uh, no, 100 shekels. Uh, no. In Israel. 20, uh, you in Israel? Do you live in Israel? 
Yeah. There's no excuses in Israel. No, she's talking about the liquid B12. The liquid B12 and... It's cheap. $30. And you can get, or you can get one injection every three months, or you can eat fortified food. So that when you buy a cereal... I know about this a so, so wait a second, do you think it's okay to get B12 from me? From my body? Of do you kill me for B12? Of not. What, so if it was a choice between me and taking a tablet, what would you do? I think I just, just wouldn't take, take it, it yes. You, you would get B12 deficiency when you could just take a tablet? I just won't take it, because I can't swallow it. Okay, what about liquid B12? A choice I between me and liquid B12. Would you kill me to get the B12 from, because I have B12 in my body. You have B12 as well in your body. I could eat you for B12, but that would be wrong, wouldn't it? It is. So why do we get to kill animals and eat them for B12? Isn't that wrong? I just, you know, I always think about it that when we, like, everyone was vegan, first of all, everyone will be a lot healthier. That's of course, but people want to raise cows. I want to raise a cow just to have her. To kill her? No. Friend, I love them. You can have a sanctuary, you could rescue a cow from uh, the meat yes, industry. But you know, like most people won't do that. No, but I'm just asking you why you're not vegan, and you said because of a supplement, a tablet. So, and everything that happened, have you seen what happens to animals? Yes, in Israel? In a, in a, no, not on a farm, in a slaughterhouse. Even the farms is horrible. Yeah, of course. So, you see what the animals go through, you see them get slaughtered against their will to live, and is this okay because of? You have to take a tablet or a liquid B12? Of course not. Okay. Because what it sounds like is you believe having to take B12 justifies or makes okay what happens to animals. It's not, and I think that they can make it even more better. Yeah. The interest, the in interest. Uh, I know what you mean. You mean make it more uh, humane, maybe? Yes. So that's all you would you would give to the animals? Just make them less suffer less and then kill them? I just can't eat uh, the tablets. But you can eat their dead body. You can swallow a chicken's dead body, but you can't swallow a little tablet. No, you're absolutely right. No, no, I'm just saying, like, what's what's worse, like killing a chicken and eating their dead body and swallowing that, or having like a little tablet, or liquid B12, or eating, uh, you know, when you have bi cereal. Soya milk, it's got B12 in it, they add it. Not enough. No, but or, or you, I, I would go to the doctor every three months, get B12 injection, boom, done for three months. The animals don't deserve what we do to them for B12. I don't deserve to be killed for B12, you don't. Imagine if I said, you know what, I don't want to take a tablet, sorry. Psh. I will let, we'll treat you nicely first. We'll treat you better, more humane. Psh. B12 though, it's not right. Of course it's not. It's excuses. If you've seen what happens to the animals, they're bad excuses to do what we do to them. If they deserve rights, like you agree they deserve rights, they would be protected from you too. Even if you want a B12, too bad. You're gonna have to take a tablet. They have rights now. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what rights protect me from. If someone wants to rape me, if someone wants to enslave me, I don't care if they get pleasure from it. I don't care if they really want to. The law doesn't care. It protects me from psychopaths that want to harm me. Uh, what about the people that have in the religion that's written in the Bible or Quran or whatever it is that they should eat meat? No, there's no religion that mandates meat eating. No religion, not even Islam, not Judaism, not Christianity, that maybe, not maybe Hinduism. They don't mandate it, but they Buddhism? support it. They support it, like uh, in Islam. It's permissible. Yeah. But the Quran was written 1400 years ago. Yeah. It's a different world back then. Prophet Muhammad didn't have an iPhone. Yeah. Well, what's your point? My point is that we have moved on. We've got technology. We've got access to vegan food. We have supplements. We're not in a survival situation. We've got more than enough food to eat. You know, I, I may agree with you, but at the end of the day, I care about myself more than I care about the, about the animals. Yeah, no one's, yeah but no one's saying you have to care about an animal more. Yeah. Just more than your taste. Let me finish my sentence. Okay. I despise vegan food. It's just. So you don't eat tasty. vegan food? It's just not tasty. I, I don't think so. So you don't it. eat bread, hummus, beans? You don't eat pasta, you don't eat vegetables or fruit? Uh, no, actually I do. You, you don't eat rice? I eat rice. Well, that's a vegan food. So how, I mean, you no, don't eat pizza no, without... No, I'm like, uh, sub, sub, the, like vegan meat. Okay, what if I despised um, animal foods and vegan foods, I only really wanted to eat people? Is that a good enough reason? 
Try and eat people. No, no, I'm okay. saying, is that a good enough justification to k kill people and eat them? No. Why do you have a double standard for because humans and animals? You agree they deserve rights, but you're saying because you despise vegan food, it's okay to kill them for that reason. You think that? Do you think that's heartless? A bit. Yeah. Do you, do you think you're a bad person? Not necessarily, uh, but everyone can. If I said um, animals deserve to live, I don't want to kill them, I'm going to eat vegan food to save their lives and make sure they don't suffer and make sure they have rights, and then another person says, you know what, I don't really like vegan food. I think they should die for me, have their head cut off for me. Who is the good and who is the bad person? We are. You're, you're the bad person to the chicken? Yeah. And who is the good person to the chicken? The one that eats vegan. You see, it's easy for us, you have rights. If you didn't have rights and you were a victim, you would know what it feels like. But because you can make a decision, I don't care. Not gonna affect me. Things look different when you have a gun to your head. And it's the oppressor's decision to kill you. Yeah, it's true. I said I agree with you from, from the start, but... You don't, you disagree with me. You disagree with animal rights. If you think that, that because you don't like vegan food, it's okay to kill animals, we disagree. Yeah, you don't agree. You might, you might say you do, but if you go away and eat animals, you disagree. And I guess I disagree. Yeah. You just waste your taste. <laughs> you like the taste, I know. It's, it's like a rapist likes to rape because they like the feeling. Yeah. And, but that doesn't mean that violating human rights is okay. Not for a taste, not for a pleasure. If we like to eat someone because we like the taste, it doesn't justify killing them. Then why do you think the, most of the humans uh, in the world do eat meat? Conditioning, cultural conditioning, um, they're completely disconnected from what happens to animals. They don't uh, have to face what I see the animals go through every day. They don't go through the farms, they don't go in the slaughterhouses and smell the blood and see the fear. They're disconnected, that's why. I have seen, by the way. You have seen? Yeah. Animal. In the Quran and the holidays. We... Yeah, Eid. Yeah, I know. We slaughter uh, lambs. Yeah, do they want to die? Probably not. When you seen the animal die, did they look like they go willingly? Actually, they kill them in one hit, so they don't no, suffer. Where, they do suffer. They kill them in one slash. So yeah, I know, they, and they suffer for a minute with their throats slashed open, and they try to they breathe. They die instantly, it's the way they do it. They don't die instantly. This, is, this has been studied. They take about a minute to die after having been halal slaughtered. One minute of suffering. You don't need to do it as a Muslim. It's permissible to be vegan. But when you do slaughter one, and then you, you donate the, the food, and in the Quran it says when you donate food, you get more um, like good deeds and therefore you get a higher chance to go into heaven. You can donate anything. You don't have to... No, in it's not required to, to sacrifice an animal. It's not seen as required, as mandated. It's not it's one of the mandated. mandated. It's not mandated. It's like extremely supported and it's the yeah. biggest, it's the biggest yeah. thing and it's what the prophets did. Yeah, uh, but the prophet also didn't eat much meat. The prophet also uh, didn't want to harm animals. The prophet also said if you harm even a sparrow unjustly, yeah, yeah. you'll be judged, you'll face God. So how come they, they eat meat? They may not mandate it, but how come they eat meat and still say, say those things? So Maybe the prophet point. thought they had justification back then. He said unjustly, but now you definitely don't have any justification. Have you seen what happens to animals? Factory farms didn't exist that back then. The dairy industry where they kill the cows after they've stopped producing milk didn't exist back then. They didn't know fish were sentient beings that feel pain, so fish aren't even included in halal guidelines. They didn't have the egg industry back then. They didn't have business selling animals and egregious suffering in factory farms back then. Things have changed. Perfectly fine to be vegan and Muslim. I know plenty. And you avoid all suffering to animals. You avoid uh, anything that, you know, you don't know what's haram and what's not haram if you're not doing the slaughtering, slaughtering yourself. And even then, it's needless to slash an animal's throat. It's needless. You don't have justification. But anyway, it's really nice talking to you. I appreciate you staying because I know it's uncomfortable, but... I appreciate you staying because it was an uncomfortable chat, but it's not a comfortable topic, you know? So I have to be, I have to be honest. Oh yeah, so the woman before said she wouldn't take a B12 tablet because it wasn't natural, but she was smoking a cigarette, had an iPhone and did all these other things. She said she physically couldn't stomach a tablet when you have liquid B12. She said it was so expensive, but it's really not. And a packet of cigarettes is probably about 100 shekels. Let's look it up right now, actually. Cigarette price in Israel, 20 to 30 shekels a pack, right? Liquid B12, so here we go. Fast dissolve, so she doesn't have to swallow them. 50 shekels. So about the price, price of a packet of cigarettes. A packet of cigarettes might last her a week. That will last her three months.